because there's so much you can learn. Tra tra in trading, there's so many things you can learn. It's like you can go down to like a million rabbit holes, right? And so how do you know what works, what doesn't, and how do you even know where to get started? So for beginners who are trying to learn to trade, the most difficult part is getting started. Once you know the direction and the path of what, what you need to study, you know, the rest you can manage and you can learn, right? So the, the key is this. There's so many strategies out there. If you do not know what, what strategies work or don't work, you know, you, you can end up spending a ton of money and a ton of time trying to trade a strategy that is just broken, that does not work. An example, in my opinion, is like trying to buy stocks that are on sale. If you're a long bias trader and you're always looking for the bargain bin, the discount, sure, once in a while you may get one great play, but most of the time, stocks are on sale for a reason, okay? Stocks that keep making new lows will keep making new lows for a reason. The market has priced it in, right? And so if you don't understand the dilution game, you can be stuck in a stock that the company is unloading hundreds of millions of dollars with a stock, and you're just basically pissing in the ocean, dude, you know? And so these, so, in order to trade, you gotta first figure out what strategies work. And how do you do that? Well, if you don't know, if you don't get mentored, you're gonna end up trial and error. You know, when I started trading, it was very like, the logical way, like if I go shopping is buying stuff on sale. But you know, when you buy stuff on sale, guys, you really don't really like that shirt. I just buy the shirt because it's hella cheap. It was in the clearest bin, 70% off. And then I, when I get home, I'm like, this looks like a piece of crap. I really don't want this shirt. I'd rather pay more money for a shirt I like and wear it more often versus trying to buy the cheap bargain bin stuff and then it never, you'd never wear it. Same thing with stocks, guys. Pick strong stocks, making new highs. Because, you know, the, the old adage is, you know, CB, CNBC always tells you, buy low, sell high. You know, I, you have to buy high, sell higher. Does not mean chasing the offers, right? Does not mean chasing the breakouts. It means that you pick a stock with an uptrending chart. So those, some of those are the strategies that you may never figure out until you lose a ton of money. So when I started trading, you know, I'm always looking for the bargain bis discount bin stocks. And I hated those stocks. I'm like, why the fuck I buy this shit? Then I look over the expensive stocks and the expensive stocks kept on going up. And I'm like, what the fuck? So, so write that down, guys. It's not buy low, sell high. It's buy high, sell higher. Same thing with short selling. Instead of shorting high, you basically want to short low and, and cover lower, right? So basically look for stocks that are broken. So that leads me to this example. ACB. Pull up that chart. That chart has been running, my goodness, for a week straight. It's killing everybody. All the shorts are trying to short high so that they can cover low. And so what happens is they end up cherry picking the stock. Okay? So... The way you trade that stock, okay, I'm gonna jump right into this. This is a this is a huge powerful strategy that we implement on pretty much every every type of these plays. And this is a this is a way for you to if you want to short or if you want to long, this is the way to do it on these stocks, okay? Stocks are multi-day runners like that. So a simple thing would be this: go long, buy strong stocks making new highs. So last week ACB was running. So what you do is you basically, you can keep holding it until it becomes red on the day. Or you want more advanced strategies, use lines, right? Technical analysis, we call the lines. But the key thing is very simple. If you're long and stock, just keep holding it until it turns red on the day. So some of these could be multi-day runners, especially these, these coronavirus stocks that get hyped up, you know? And so same thing with SRNE, um, you know, all these stocks, APT. All these stocks, Cody, CODX, you know, eventually it will come down to earth, obviously. But the most simple basic trade is basically you buy when it's green, you sell, you know, multi-day when it's red. That's, if you just keep to that, you, you will not go broke, okay? And it leads me to this red day strategy we talk about. It's called the first red day. And so that stock, ACB, has been running for days. It's been running for days, man. And people always try to cherry pick the top. You know what, man? Some of these stocks don't need to go down. You have cases like Beyond Meat, Tilray, you know, dries back in the day. 
that's gone through like ballistic levels, like $100 a share, $300 a share. If you think these stocks must go down, you are wrong. You're absolutely wrong. Eventually they will. But you know what they say? They say the markets can remain irrational longer than you can stay solvent. So eventually you're gonna run out of money, but you're gonna be right. It went down, but you're gonna be broke before it went down. So timing is key. And trading is all about timing. No shit, these are stocks that are crappy. No stock runs from like a dollar to $10, right? Things like that. And so all these smart guys are trying to tell you, oh, it sucks, it sucks. People are stupid, why are people longing this shit? It is a turd. And but the stock kept going up, kept going up. You know, and the stock's up 300%. So who's really stupid? It doesn't fucking matter. Stocks are nothing but a trading instrument for you to buy and sell. And so the simplest way to trade these, these big stocks is just, you cannot hit the top, guys, because you're going to lose. Even if you nail the top, it's with small size. The only way you fully size in is if there's two scenarios. The classic amateur scenario of sizing in is you keep adding to a fucking loser until you're max size. And then you fucking pray. <laughs> you pray that's the top. But it seldom, rarely happens where you can get full size at the top. It's, it, it's very difficult. Okay, don't even try that. The best way to do it is just to wait for the red day. That's what we call it, very simple. First red day. So ACB today, if you take a look at my chart, I started a little bit earlier. So there's a couple ways to do it. So I'm a little more, the, the little more advanced strategy is basically wait till the VWAP line gets broken and gets confirmed. So you take a look at my, if you go to Twitter, you see my ACB. I actually started very high where, right when it broke VWAP and I waited for the bounce. And then when it went to red, that was a confirmation. So there's multiple ways to trade it. That was not my main focus of the day, unfortunately. I didn't really think it's gonna go down that much like that. Cause you know, to be honest, I didn't trade that stock before. So, but using the, the strategies we have, the process we have, you know, it worked. So waited for the red, shorted the bounces, all the bounces. Cause once, this is the first time it went red. It's as simple as that guys. But simple is not easy. People often confuse simple with easy. You have all these people teaching you all these complex fucking bullshit. Because you know what, man? They're trying to impress you to think that they're smart. The real smart traders are the, the traders that have a very simplistic model of trading. But it's not easy, okay? The simplistic model it revolves around strategies that work. If a strategy is too complex, dude, you know, it's not going to... Unless you got fucking like PhDs and shit, you're running a, a quant fund, you know, it's not necessary for you. You basically want a simple basic strategy that is repeatable, that you can explain to your mom. First red day, that's a strategy I can explain to anybody. So ACB went red and that, that was basically what the shortest. We had no FOMO leading up until today on that stock. I don't care if it went up, down. I didn't get the top of the stock. Trading is this, guys. Trading is not about getting tops and bottoms. Trading is about timing the move and just getting the beat of the move. Your job is just to be fucking on the right side of the trade, okay? And the profits will take care of itself, okay? So the, listen to me what I said right there. Your job as a day trader is to be on the right side of the trade. There's many strategies out there okay we teach many strategies first red day is the is a strategy that's been proven because it's very simple if you think about logically right everybody is holding on to that stock acb if you're long why would you sell it keeps going up until it hits red when it hits red it means the buyers have been exhausted who else is left to buy and it's just simple as that you know, people don't like to wait for that because they're like, oh, dude, I'm giving up $2 a share on that stock. But that $2 a share is your insurance policy, guys. It's your insurance policy that you don't fucking get ran over. Remember, your job is not to be the hero, to brag that you got the absolute top tick. Your job is just to be a very good timing, to be on the right side of the trade, okay? So the right side of the trade is when it went red. As simple as that. You can start earlier than I did on VWAP breakdown, things like that. But you have to have a strategy of risk management. Because if that VWAP gets reclaimed and broken again, you've got to stop out. 
it's better guys just to wait sometimes like i said and make your 50 cents make your dollar remember we you know most of you guys are beginning traders you're not here with a 50,000 share position of that stock you know you'd be very happy with you know a few hundred or a few thousands of dollars of that stock you know even a few, couple, like a thousand shares you can make you great money and just wait everyone got blown up on the way up all the smart short sellers you know and we just wait same thing with this vtiq that we traded last week on the first red day as well so that's a very simplistic but not easy you know why it's not easy because you have to wait the waiting part is the hardest part about trading okay the strategies we all can teach you so in trading i'm telling you right now man trial and error to figure out what strategies work and then once you figure out what strategies work you have to create a repeatable process around that so so right there those two steps may take you years you may not even do it if you're a beginning trader how the hell you know what strategies work unless you lost a lot of fucking money yeah if you're lucky and you start making money from the beginning and you build the process around it but it still takes time guys so so when people say like, oh, I don't need a fucking, I've been training a long time. I don't need, I don't need to join MIC, things like that. You, you, you join MIC to save you time and money and frustration. You are, you could be a better trader than we are, than I am. I, I don't really give a damn. You know, I hope you are a better trader. We're building traders that are becoming better than I am. I love it. That's because they bypassed the learning curve, guys. I've exhausted years. Alex and I have exhausted years and hundreds of thousands of dollars to lose to lose to figure out what this works what works and what doesn't and that's how we came up with first day red first red day zombie rules so you have to learn all these things which man even even after all these years we're still learning guys and you know what the learning curve has been reduced down significantly it doesn't mean you're going to be the best trader it doesn't mean you can be profitable and consistent right away but the key is it gives you a fighting chance to know what works so you don't have to spend a year and tens of thousands of dollars of losing trial and error to figure this out. You know, if you, if you want to do that, go ahead. There's a lot of people that, that trade for an ego. I, I don't trade for an ego, guys. I trade because I love it. Plus, the main thing is to make money. If, if I did not make money, I would not be fucking loving it, to be honest, right? <laughs> if you're getting your ass kicked every fucking day, how can you love it? Unless you're a masochist. You love it because, you know what? You think that you can become good at it. And then you get the glimpse just like you know then you get a glimpse of like hope and so that that little hope drives you but the problem is this guys i'm, I'm gonna reiterate it last time the problem is that little hope if you made money because you got lucky breaking rules that you don't know what to do and you cannot re recreate a repeatable process around that that hope is actually a fallacy and, and it's like that's the hope that makes people go broke because they're like oh my god the last time i chased a stock that was beaten down I made money and so you're always looking for that one scenario which will never happen you've already got it you got that fucking one in a hundred scenario where you where that piece of shit stock actually made you a lot of money and so that's what i call bad habits because when when you're trading off a of bad habit you don't you know only luck will save you because trading is a game of probability guys technical analysis all that is what statistics probability you know, what's the odds it will happen again? So the only way you can figure out what's going to happen again is using charts. Charts is not 100%. Charts is a guideline. It's a, it's a map. But these maps change on the fly, right? But that's all we have to work with. We, we have to work with all these clues, such as such as, such as the charts, such as the, the filings. But once again, one-off instance, one example is not going to make you a confident trader until it happens over and over and so that's what's very difficult about trading guys if you're starting new and you don't know what you're doing because you don't know if this was an anonymous anonymously like a one-off scenario right or if this is actually a true strategy and so and so that that's the main reason to join i think man to learn this shit because i don't want you guys to go broke i was fortunate when i started to have money because i had a day job and so I kept funding my account until I figured out what fucking works. If I just known this thing from the beginning, you know, you know how much of a better trader I am? I have so many fucking bad habits, guys. Because I'm, I'm doing all this crazy shit back in the day. And it's very difficult because I got rewarded. 
I got rewarded for bad shit, like not using stop losses. So now I'm starting to use stop losses more. I'm starting to stop out. Very example is this. An amateur short strategy is keep adding, and keep adding until it fucking the stock goes down, right? It, it works all the time, guys. If you have a big enough uh, account, it works all the time until that one fatal blow that you wipe out your entire life. And that's what we don't want you guys to do. So that's the first red day strategy, guys. That will save you a lot of money if you're shorting because it's very, it's very difficult to sit there and wait and not trade for an entire day or two days or three days because that's but but when the timing comes that's where you make the big bucks guys because everybody else has exhausted their cap mental capital in addition to their monetary fiscal capital right financial capital so patience is the key guys and to learn the right strategies and to build a repeatable process around that based upon risk management you always have to have risk management like, like I said, man, we, we, I use this analogy often before. Imagine you go to a casino and you're playing blackjack and you don't have to bet. You get to see your cards before you bet. Do you think you will lose? You may lose one or two hands, but over time, you got to kick the casino's ass. You get to see both your cards. If you're a dumbass, you start fucking betting because you have FOMO and you're bored. 12, 15, 16. But if you have the patience, I'm only gonna go in on on 20s. Maybe not even 18 or 19, because that, that gets beat all the time. I'm just waiting for 20s. And then I'm gonna then I'm gonna fucking like size up my bets. But once again, never go all in. Because 20 gets beat by 21 all the time. You see what I'm saying? So you're playing by the odds and the probability. So that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. So plays like first red day, things like that is waiting for a 20 blackjack hen. It may not work, but it's a huge probability that you will make money. But you will not make money 100% of the time because 20 gets beat by 21 in blackjack. All right, what, what else are we missing there, Alex? I'm gonna make it short and sweet. Anybody wanna get on, guys? I'm gonna bring someone on and maybe discuss a strategy they're working on or raise your hand if someone wants to be on IG Live. We can go through the strategy or do anything you guys want. Simple as that, guys. But it's not easy. Like I said, simple does not mean easy. Hard as hell to be waiting and to not have FOMO. That's the killer of most day traders. FOMO, fear of missing out, as well as over trading. All right, I'm going to bring on Zach. Who's Zach? I like to see a uh, new name, so this is a new name. I feel like, hey, buddy. What's going on, man? What's up? Tell everybody your name, where you're from, all that good stuff. Uh, my name's Zach. I'm from Tennessee. Uh, I'm the I'm a nurse. Uh, I'm a, I, I actually. Uh, oh, you're the just, guy that just joined. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, man, that's I me. Now. I remember now, brother. Yeah. So tell tell us your experience because I remember you're like after 20 days in, you're like, dude, this ain't for me. <laughs> yeah. So what changed your mind? Tell tell everybody what's going on. Yeah, I was that dude. Uh, I I actually reached out to Alex and he's like, man, you've been here for 20 days, bro. <laughs> so uh, because he, you uh, want you wanted to quit, right? Because you're like, dude, I didn't see the results in 20 days. And so yeah. tell tell us the whole thing because uh, this, this is a great story for everybody to hear. Well, to be honest with you, I was putting I was putting a time in on videos, but I wasn't really sticking to my process, sticking to my plan. And then uh, I, I took, I, I went back to paper trading, uh, paper traded for the whole the whole week last week. Uh, made about, I think I made like right at five hundred dollars last week, and then uh, I think this week I've made about a about a hundred and fifty dollars as far as like live trading. So it's been. So you you, you know, saw the the DVD right? I mean the course accelerators. That, that, I want you to talk about that. We gave you the special early release on that. Can see. Yeah. Uh, see, I, I like the accelerator because it goes it goes in like chronological order, and you don't have to flip back from video to video. You know what I'm saying? It just goes. And I've actually watched it. Uh, I've watched it like three times, uh, and it just it just helped me to kind of stay in. Uh, 
stay in the lineup, I guess. You know, it went from from just the basic all the way up to the strategies, all the way up to the very end. You know, it it it, it, it helped me a lot, definitely. Yeah, that's exactly what I said at the beginning of the IG. It was like that. Starting a trade is very difficult because there's so much to learn, and you don't know the order and the path and what to, to learn first. And so, yeah. so I, I, Alex sent me the message, like, after 20 days, you're like, dude, I'm kind of confused, which is normal. When you get in, you're like, holy crap, I don't know what to do. There's so much confusing things, right? And so that's when we created yeah. that, that, that course, the accelerator. It's coming out. And so Zach, Zach got an early preview of that. And what do you think, man? What's the review? You like it? Oh, man, it's A+. plus. <laughs> that's game changer right it, it... yes for sure it's you know i i was i was just downhearted i was i was going to stay because i'm an annual member anyways i wasn't going to give up i was just frustrated and then you know all the material that's in the accelerator is in the videos it's just i just like how it's all in order you know what i'm saying and you can just yep. go right down the line and it's it, it's awesome it, it helped me tremendously that's awesome that's got to hear because that's what we've been working on for the past half a year so, tra- yeah. like I said, man, trading trading is is simple, but it's not easy. You see that, but now you you understand just the simple the simple stuff. Like, tell us what you traded. Uh, what did you trade today? This week? Uh, well, I traded uh, I traded ACB today. I wa- I was I was uh, looking at the first red day yes uh, yesterday, uh, and then last night I was actually uh, I was actually online at like about twelve. And I seen somebody was watching a first red day setup, so I took a couple hours to to review it and 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 look at it. Uh, it was actually Faye. She uh, she talked about uh, how she was going to watch uh, for the sector play or whatever. And I think it was in after hours, so I watched that video a couple times, and uh, I just waited on it on it this morning. I didn't make a big mo. I didn't make a big dollar amount on it, but it was it was green for me, so it was good. Correct. This is a learning process. That's the first time you did that strategy, right? Yeah, so, very first. I've been I've been doing first bounce, so I, I okay. did the I did the first red day today. So, so that's great. That's how you do it, man. The more you see of these, so now you know what to look for the next time it happens. Yeah. So I, I love the way that Zach did. So let me, let me just kind of summarize what he did. So he went to what we call after hours, which is our channel that's open 24 hours where members are helping members. It's kind of like a, it's like a chat room, right? It's a hangout chat room, but people are helping each other. So Zach just saw the first red day. So he's like, oh shit, something must be up. Cause everyone's studying on that, right? Yeah. And sure enough, a- they were studying because of ACB. And so now, so now even though you may not bank money because you just started doing this, you can go back to the video that you learned and not compare it in real time today. To ACB, yeah. and then you can paper trade in your head how you would have done better next time. Yeah, it did. It did exactly what the video showed, uh, even on the because it, it was a cannabis play. I think uh, on the video that was shared in after hours, and it did exactly the same thing. You just waited on it, and then it tanked. Dude, that's awesome. I'm so glad, man. So, so um, you're using hard stock too, right? Yeah, uh, I'm I'm doing a small size. I, I just because uh, okay. when I first started, I was like, man, I got to trade like a thousand shares to keep up with these guys. And I was realizing that my heart that my hard stop wasn't. Uh, it was too <laughs> it was too close, and I was risking too much. So now I just trade a hundred shares, and I risk uh, I risk fifty bucks. So you know I can I can risk almost you know a pretty good pretty good chunk of it, and 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 it it helped me. That's the key, guys. You know, a size down, widen your stops, you become a much better consistent trader. And then you yeah. can add size anytime you want. Yeah. That's, that's awesome, man. We got kids back there taking care of the kids at home. Yeah, uh, we're actually getting ready to play. Uh, you know those little, uh, these, these little poppet things, these TNT poppet things. We're about to, we're about to hit oh, those up on those, the porch. <laughs> oh, those are awesome, dude. <laughs> well, yeah. thanks for, thanks so. for coming on, Zach. I'm glad that you're learning. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Thank you for everything. Appreciate All y'all. Right. I'll see you in the room, Zach. All right. Bye, man. All right. Well, that, that was pretty awesome. I, I, that was the first time I talked to Zach. It's like, it, it's so weird because we were just, uh, Alex just mentioned to me about Zach. And then as Alex was like, we're, we're going to send him a, an early release of the accelerator course. And after he saw the accelerator course, you saw what happened. He started making money. So I guess it validates itself. So, so hit up Tosh, guys. We're going we're to offer a very limited, limited time. This accelerator course that is going to be given to all annual members for free in the beginning. Only in the beginning. Perhaps maybe just one month. 
Okay, after that we have to we're gonna start charging. So this is a, this is an early promo, guys. Okay, so text toss accelerator. You don't even have to spell it correctly, right? Just text toss toss type type your number, and then get on this accelerator. We're gonna give it out early access for the guys that can join today. Okay, uh, this is this is for the guys that join today. So join up, guys, and the rest everybody will release it very soon. But we still gotta package it up and everything. Okay, how do you get an accelerator course? You text toss, and he will tell you. Text Tosh. Tosh, type, type your text and ask you about the accelerator. Because you hear it right there, man. That was, this was not scripted. And it was funny that Zach raised his hand because I love it. I love it. All right, guys. We want to leave that here. Uh, good luck, Trini. And we'll see you in the room. Text Tosh. Accelerator.